Okay, hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Rakina Razuha, Mita Sanimin with metric number 111466. Uh, okay, the topic that I want to explain today is about one of the epitaxia growth technique which is the liquid phase epitaxia or LPE. Okay, what is, what is LPE? LPE is a major technology and has a unique features, original techniques, simplest and often the cheapest road to produce uh, device quality layers which have method to grow semiconductor crystal layer from the melt on solid substrate. Okay, first of all, I will explain about the liquid phase epitaxy mechanism. So, for the mechanism, uh, it consists of heating coil, thermocouple, substrate such as galenium arsenide and also solvent like silicon, aluminium, uh, gallium or arsenide that conduct in container like metal, like a diagram shown, uh, that have a space for gas in and out from the container. Okay, next, uh, we move to the principle of LPE. So, for the principle, the substrate such as gallium arsenide held contact with supersaturated solution which is arsenide saturated solution of gallium. Then, the saturated solution will undergo the cooling process or we can call it, we can call the liquid part is evaporated. This method does not realistic for gallium because it has a low vapor pressure. Then the solution will start oversaturated that make arsenide going out from solution and will create gallium arsenide on the reasonable bark or we call as epitaxial substrate. Okay, then uh, we look into how this LPE works. So, this LPE happens at temperature below the melting point of the deposited semiconductor. So, the semiconductor is dissolved in the melt of another material at condition that are close to the equilibrium between this solution and deposition, which the deposition of the semiconductor crystal on the substrate is slowly and uniform. The equilibrium condition is depend very much on the temperature and the concentration of the dissolved semiconductor in the melt. Uh, the most used substrate is indium phosphide. Other substrate like glass or ceramic can be applied for special application to facilitate nucleation and avoid tension in the growth layer. Thermal expansion coefficient of substrate and growth layer should be similar. So, uh, for the addition, all materials have their own advantages and disadvantages. Uh, now, I will explain about the advantages and disadvantages of liquid phase epitaxy. So, firstly, for the LPE advantages, LPE have uh, high growth rates, wide selection of dopants, inexpensive, fast, New equilibrium growth, excellent crystal quality, favorable segregation of impurities, and also absence of highly toxic precursors. And then for the disadvantages, LPE has poor reproducibility, have problems with scaling up in size or throughput, difficult to scale up for production, dimensional control poor, structure complexity limited, limit in control layer thickness, Alloy composition, doping, and also interface smoothness. Okay, last but not least, uh, many applications that have through this affected cell growth technique in the production process to get the better application that we have today. This LPE technique has been used widely in 
LEDs or laser electron diodes and laser diodes will establish processes although it rarely used in new installation but it is still applicable for use in niche application within certain device technologies so for overall LPE we can say it as one of the important epitaxial growth technique because it have their own characteristic advantages disadvantages and their own specialization that can be used in certain application that we use today so that's all from me thank you